with us here as we move it along well. Christian in Connecticut, and he says hello. Christian, good afternoon. How are you today, pal? Okay? Hey, what's going on, Mad Dog? I'm good. All right, let's get you off to a decent start. This is Cut 160. Third, uh, listen third, up. This my is third try. Third try. Boy, I'd love to see you win something yeah. here. Here you go. <laughs> I'm also uh, the most blessed coach uh, to work uh, with our staff and this group of men right here. Uh, I cannot say enough about what these guys are willing to do for one another and for you out there still a nation. Now, who is that? Uh, Mike Tomlin? That is correct. Good start. Mike Tomlin, that's an easy one. Gets you off the uh, snide, and away you go. So well done there. All right. Um, right. One Super Bowl winning head coach, only one, has also been the head coach of the Lions. Who is it? Mad Dog, can you repeat the question again? There's only one Super Bowl winning head coach. Who also at one time, that's hard to believe when you think about it. Who also has at one time been head coach of the Lions. Who is that? Um, is it uh, called? Uh, God. Uh, Super Bowl winning head coach. Not a losing Super head Bowl coach. Winning head coach. Winning head coach. And he was not in the not in the head not in the system. Head coach. Head coach. He won a Super Bowl as a winning head coach who somehow head once coach. coached the Lions. Who's the coach? Oh my God! Uh, head, co- head coach of the Lions, not an assistant. The head coach of the Lions. Head coach. Oh God. Uh, Wayne Fonts, no. No, I, I can't let you keep on guessing alive. That's not fair. And then, you know, hopefully I respond. That that we can't do. Uh, here is Jake. He played the other day. He's tough in New York, and he says hello. Jake, good afternoon. How are you today, pal? Okay? I'm doing good, and you thought I was challenging you yesterday. I was just qualifying the question with Bill. So Yeah, well, I, I tried, Jake. Yeah, Jake, you got mad. Is that the Texans I, one? I was not mad. I was just clarifying. That was, was it the Texans? Is that what it was? Well, it's, it's gone now, but yes, that was it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two Super Bowl winning head coaches there, Jake, and you're a good call. I'm just kidding you. Two Super Bowl winning head coaches were once assistants at BYU. Two Super Bowl winning head coaches, once assistants at BYU. Who is it? Uh, you didn't ask that one yet, did you? Yeah, I, I did ask it. Uh, maybe, maybe not today, but it has been asked. Yeah. All right, Jake, at least was honest about it, and uh, maybe you get a chance to play tomorrow. John in Jersey. John, welcome. How are you today, pal? Okay? What's up, Narky? How you doing? All right there, John. Get off to a decent start. Let's see. Let's see if you can get this first one here and get yourself home. Here you go. Well, you know, this is all part of it. I mean, that's, that's, that's where we're learning and growing. I told our guys, this is the same team a couple years back that lost in New York on the Super Bowl, and look at where they are today. So let's learn and grow from this experience. Who is that? Oh, man. How about uh, one more time, Mark? Here. Yeah, we can give it to you again. Let's hear it up. Well, you know, this is all part of it. I mean, that's, that's, that's where we're learning and growing. I told our guys, this is the same team a couple years back that lost in New York on the Super Bowl. And look at where they are today. So let's learn and grow from this experience. That is uh, who? Pete Carroll. No, nah, that is incorrect. Uh, you know, there's a clue in here that makes it easy. Jay in Massachusetts. Jay, welcome. How are you today? Okay. Doing well, Marquis. Good luck. Last Super Bowl played in California. Who won it? Uh, that would be the Denver Broncos. That is correct. Finally, we got that one out of the way. That's been sitting there for a while. Only one, they, they obviously beat Carolina two years ago in Super Bowl 50 in San Francisco. Only one franchise has won multiple Super Bowls but never had a quarterback named Super Bowl MVP. One franchise has won more than a Super Bowl, more than one, multiple, but for whatever the reason, their quarterback was never named the Super Bowl MVP. Name the franchise. Um, I'm going to say Dallas Cowboys. That is incorrect. Starbuck and people like that, they were named MVP. And Aikman, so that, that one doesn't work. Uh, here is uh, Paul in Scranton, PA. Paulie, good afternoon. How are you today? Okay. 
Marquis, I made it after all under the air. <laughs> when, uh, I'm Bill, just to think, Bill thought that was a dopey idea that's been a huge hit. Uh, which, leave it to me, Bill. I'm the radio savant. What quarterback has won the most regular season games in their career without ever playing in a Super Bowl? What quarterback has won the most regular season games in their career without ever playing in a Super Bowl? Okay, doggy, be patient. Let me think out loud here. Um, some of those guys might be uh, Dan Fouts or Dave Craig. Um, I'm going to go with Warren Moon. Now, that is um, a good question, but a lot of those were probably in the Canadian Football League. Uh, that is incorrect. Brian in Pennsylvania, a chance for Bry. Bry, good afternoon. How are you today, pal? Hi, Marquis. What part of Pennsylvania, Bry? Just outside Philadelphia. Are uh, you an Eagle fan? I'm a Marquee fan. No, that's not going to help you, but thank you. Uh, in Super Bowl 51, in Super Bowl 51, who scored for the Falcons to give them their 28 to three lead? Julio Jones. Nope. That's a you know obviously a guess anybody could make. Close, not the case. John in Burbank, California. Home of Johnny hey, Carson. Doggy. Hello, John. How are you today, pal? Things good? I'm doing great, man. I'm ready. You ready to go? I'd like to see you get off to a decent start here. Uh, let's awesome. play you a cut. Let's play you cut number 125. 125 for John. Dante got that strip sack, and, and we, we put a couple, you know, on the, on the board. You know, you started to see a little light at the end of the tunnel. And, um, you know, I knew I caught it. I was just hoping that, like, you never know what a catch is these days. If I didn't, I didn't know if the ball was touching the ground while I was under it, but I knew I had possession of it. Who is that? Yeah, one more time. Yeah, easy. This must have been from Evan Cohen's masterful interview. Let me hear it. Dante got that strip sack, and and we we put a couple, you know, on the on the board. You know, you started to see a little light at the end of the tunnel, and um, you know, I knew I caught it. I was just hoping that like. You never know what a catch is these days. If I didn't, I didn't know if the ball was touching the ground while I was under it, but I knew I had possession of it. That is who? Uh, man, Julio Jones? No, no, Julio Jones. That's a huge play in the game. I know Evan's not a great interviewer, but it was clear that that was not a Falcon in that situation. Here is Tony in Rhode Island, and he says hello, and he's on, uh, uh, he's on uh, Mad Dog Trivia. Tony, good afternoon. How are you today, pal? Fine, thanks, Mad Dog. How you doing? All right. You feel good? You feel like you got a chance oh, I'm today? Ready. I'm ready, baby. You ready? All right. Let's listen up. You're gonna make it after all. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh, I love that meow. It's funny. Uh, all right. Here you go now. Uh, what were the two main settings of the Mary Tyler Moore show? Uh, Lou Grant's office. Uh, I'm going to give you that. It's tight, but I'll give you that. Where were they? How about the other one? Um, her house. There you go. I'll give you both. I'll ask the... Well, you know what? I'm going to ask Bill. He said Lou Grant's office, it's the newsroom. And he said her house, it's her apartment. Oh. Are you okay with it? I'm, if you're going to give someone Minnesota when it's Minneapolis, then you got to give them that one. Okay, so there you go. We'd be nice today. We've gotten to 6 o'clock. We can get a winner. It's not the end of the world. Uh, right. Good job, Tony. In, uh, Rhode, are you a Patriot fan, Tony? I had 40 a season ticket holders. Oh, really? How far do you live from Foxborough and Rhodey? Let me hear. 25 miles. 25 miles. Uh, yep. Did you get nervous in the second half last week? I never get nervous with Brady. And you had to be a little nervous. It was twenty last year in the Super Bowl, but not, but not, um, but not last week. Well, that's pretty darn. You were not nervous in that game, even at twenty, even with that lead in that situation. Wow. Nah, because they, they just, they just, they get so focused and just they go to work in the fourth quarter, and other teams are just gassed. Ah, uh, yeah, but let's face it, though. I mean, if he doesn't blow the whistle, it's twenty-seven ten Jacksonville. Yeah. Well. You don't think that he was down by... No, absolutely not. Oh, no. I say yes. Now, he was rolled over with the football, and uh, uh, Deion Lewis is nowhere near him. But anyway, uh, in Super Bowl 51, who scored for the Falcons to give them the 28-3 to lead? Since you're a Patriot fan, you should know this. Oh, Devontae Freeman? 
No, that's not correct. Tony gave it a shot, and he lost. Tim in Maryland played the other day, and he has an opportunity. Hello, Timmy. How are you today, pal? Okay? Uh, good, dog. Good to have you aboard, Tim. Good to have you aboard, Timmy. Let's get you off to a good start. This is a actuality cut with the play-by-play involved. Let's listen up. Toss He's in! Patriots win the Super Bowl! Brady has his fifth! What a comeback! What a great call, too. I, you know, Buck is so good. Oh, my God. One more time for our contestant so I can hear this. Go ahead. Toss He's in! Patriots win the Super Bowl! Brady has his fifth! What a comeback! That is a, you know, that is a tremendous call. I didn't realize how good that call was. Now, who is that, Timmy? What player? Oh, that scored? Yeah. James White. Now, all right, very good. I mean, that you know, you got to hear the beep and go from there. So I gave you a layup right out of the gate, so I'm going to have to be a little harder uh, this go around. All right, only one Super Bowl winning head coach has also been head coach of the Lions. Name the coach. Weeb Eubank. That is incorrect. We've never coached the Lions, so Timmy's out second day in a row. Let's chat. What's the first name here? Hello? What's your name? I pressed the wrong No, I pressed the wrong button. You hang in there. Let's talk to Andrew in Georgia. That's my fault. First error that I made. Poorly done by Eddie. He didn't get the call. He had the he had the blinker on. Stupid. Uh Andrew in Georgia. He says hello. Andy, good afternoon. How are you today, pal? I'm doing fine. How you doing, man? All right, Andy. I'd love to see you do a nice job here and get us off to a decent start. Um, well, you, you said enough about the Falcons Patriots Super Bowl. I, maybe I ought to know a couple of those. That was a pretty big heartbreaker for me. No, so you're a Falcon. You a couple of those. Yeah, well, I could do that. <laughs> um, how many quarterbacks played collegiately at BYU and won a Super Bowl? Uh, how many quarterbacks played at BYU and won the Super Bowl? Yep. <sighs> That is correct. Uh, I'm going to give you a break. Oh, wow. Uh, I was a lucky guess. I'm going to be a little harder this go around, but that is a nice job from that standpoint. Who was the first overall pick, Andrew? Number one draft pick that appeared in the Super Bowl. Who was the first overall number one NFL draft pick that eventually appeared in a Super Bowl? Who is it? Oh. Um, that's a tough one. Um, I gave you a layup. First a number, overall pick. The first overall pick, and, you know, listen, a lot of overall picks have appeared in the Super Bowl, but he was the first one who did. Who was it? Uh, Joe Namath? That is incorrect. Uh, Namath, obviously, in Super Bowl three. Uh, 65, first pick of the, of the Cardinals, but uh, that was not the answer there. Let's say a little Nick in Michigan. Nick, it's your turn. How are you today, pal? Okay? Good, and you? All right, Nick, good luck. like to see you get off to a decent start and see how you can do it here. What is the Patriots' largest margin of victory in a Super Bowl? Largest margin of victory for the Pats in a Super Bowl is what? Just give me a number. The yeah, largest, the, the largest point spread that they won the game was what? Six. That's last year. 34-28 in overtime. Uh, I don't know if Nick guessed that, but Nick got it right, which is the most important thing uh, to get him off to a decent start. Um, let's see where we stand. What quarterback has won the most regular season games in their career? Without ever winning a Super Bowl. What quarterback won the most regular season games in their career without ever winning a Super Bowl? Winning is the key word there. Yeah. Dan Marino? That is correct. Nice job. Halfway home is Nick in Michigan. All right, Nick, uh, who's your favorite team? Lions. Lions. Oh, poor Nick. He's a lion yeah, fan. Yeah, it's been tough. Yeah, well, you know, you've been a little better. So, I mean, who knows? Maybe down the road, this coach and everything else. Name the first Super Bowl winning quarterback that played collegiately in the ACC. The ACC. 
Ooh. First Super Bowl winning quarterback played collegiately in the ACC. ACC. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I don't know. Doug Flutie? That is incorrect. Nick gave it a shot. I thought he was going to get that one. We take a timeout as we move it along well here on Mad Dog Trivia.